Hello, and welcome to another episode of PowerShell Pro Tips. I'm your host, at Andrew Plot Tech, and today we're going to be covering Import Excel. Now, if you didn't know, I'm the host of the PowerShell Podcast, and this is the number one recommended module. Every single episode, I ask the people, what are your three favorite modules? And Import Excel comes up about every other episode. It is that impactful. Now, what is Import Excel? Well, as you can tell by Excel being in the title, it's a way to interact with Excel. Now, that's just like a little bit. You can interact with, you can manipulate, you can import, you can export to Excel. That's great, but who wants Excel installed? Good news for you, and thanks to Doug Fink, the developer of this Import Excel project, you don't need Excel installed. That's huge. You can run this on whatever computers you have or servers or wherever you need to execute it. That's perfect. You don't need Office installed. That's its own beast. Trust me, I get it. Let's look at what you need to get started. So first of all, I want to give a shout out to the GitHub. There's some great documentation on there. And most good projects have good documentation. Uh, and Import Excel is one of them. There's also a lot of people have been writing content on this for a while. So if you check the GitHub, you will see that there are lots of great resources down here, articles, videos, all kinds of stuff. Videos similar to this one. So the way you get started is you install the module. All right, install module, import Excel. And there's two commands that I recommend paying attention to. That is import Excel, that is output, export Excel, excuse me. So import Excel, you have an Excel.xlsx file that you need to get data from. Well, good news for you, you can do that. Import Excel, um, period, backslash, Oh, what did I name this? I think I called it Excel sheet.xlsx. So let's see, that's an xlsx. That is a fancy whole thing, right? We don't need to learn about any of that. All we need to do is install the module and run this command. And all of a sudden we have some fantastic data available to us. You may have products that output an Excel sheet. You may have a manager that loves creating an Excel sheet. And congrats, you can still automate and live in their world. Because as PowerShell people, if you're watching this, you're probably very comfortable in PowerShell. When you start to interact with other departments and go outside of your team, or maybe interacting with managers or people like that, Excel is the way to do it. There's a whole bunch. This is a module that you can take with you for a while. There is more parameters than I could cover in one, two, three, or four videos, but I wanted to highlight some that I've had a lot of success with in the past and that I think are worth a little mention, and that is show to begin with. So dash show, if we uh, use export Excel, with show, and in the data property, I have a bunch of structured CSV data. We hit export Excel, and then we do show, and we'll get rid of the other stuff as well. All right, and it shows it, and you see there's some cool stuff going on there. Simple. There's also worksheet name, which allows you to add a worksheet name. That is a super helpful thing. If you have some process in your organization where you you have different sites and you want to create an Excel spreadsheet that has all of the office licenses at a given site. And you can create that for every single site in your whole company. You can loop through each location and every single user that matches that office location. You grab all their information and put it in Excel sheet. That is an actual example I had for my last job where there was some manual process where they were trying to audit how many licenses are we paying for across the company. And uh, my boss was manually doing the process. Well, it turns out with like an hour or two with Import Excel, I was able to use PowerShell, connect to Microsoft Online, get all that they need and email it to them and put it in a nicely formatted Excel document with worksheets for every single site and a summary page at the end that has basic information about all of them. So there's very high ceiling with what you can do. Another simple, cool one that adds a little touch is just bold top row. So we can show what that looks like here. Bold top row. And you can see the top row is a little bit bolded. Now you can take this to the next level. This is entry level stuff. And if you take this away and apply it at work, you already have some great wins, but that's not all. You can do very fancy things like turn CSV text into an Excel spreadsheet, which we know about with charts, with pivot tables, with fancy stuff that most people in IT don't have as much familiarity with speaking about myself, but other people who are always in Excel, they're going to see it and they're going to be like, whoa, Andrew and IT really knows his stuff. So we're going to define some data. And as you can see, this is a CSV format, right? You have comma separated values, values, commas. The top row is the headers of everything else. So a lot of stuff there. We'll define it. Now we need to create a chart. 
So as you can see, new Excel chart definition, we give it an X range, a Y range, a title, and no legend. And when you go to create stuff like this, play around and try things and also refer to the documentation. At least for me, as soon as we start talking X, Y's and ranges and all this stuff, I instantly think it's a little bit above my pay grade. So bite off what you can chew. Um, but what you're left with at the end is actually pretty sick. So we will do this export Excel. And as you can see, now we have this table. This is written in PowerShell. Excel does not need to be installed to create this. Obviously, to view it in Excel, you need Excel. But to create it and send this off to someone else using some process, that's free, baby. <laughs> I like free. There's also pivot tables. So as you can see here, we have more structured data. Export Excel. Give it the path that you want to export it to. Auto name range. Show. Pivot rows. Region. Pivot data. Pivot chart type. Pi exploded 3D. So a lot of configurable stuff there run that pivot table to me if i see graphical stuff and all i had to do is type one command that blows my mind this module is you can see why people recommend it all the time it is very very impactful and that is import excel and if you want to hear more about it i actually talked to the creator of the module doug fink on the powershell podcast link to that will be in the show notes i hope that you can take this back to your org and start getting value soon get your hands on this though so you can get those creative juices flowing and see how you can make powershell not just a thing that you're using but take it across your organization automate processes wherever you see them so happy automating i'm andrew plotek this has been another episode of powershell pro tips